What's up guys, it's Brent back here, and we are going back into some Slay the Spire Downfall. So, we're on the main screen this time, because we're going to start adding some new mods as we go. Uh, and I wanted to start pretty slow this time, uh, right now. Uh, so we always get a reward um, when we, even if we don't always win, because sometimes we don't. Sometimes we have bad runs. Um, and this time we are going to go in with the Guardian. I think every episode we're going to start adding stuff until the game starts hitting me more and does not let me add more things. So we'll see how that goes. I have a couple uh, different mods in mind. And uh, if you in the comments have mods, which I think some of you have already suggested, um, those will be taken into consideration too. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully I'll probably add some smaller mods first before we get into something um, on the line of hubris or... Um, Cons uh, is it conspiracy? Conspire? Um, ones like that. Anyway, going with the Guardian here. Let's see what options we have. Uh, I like the brace. The bronze gear is good. I forgot on the Sneka one that we probably should have lost our starting. We're like, sometimes, even though this can be either really good or really poor, um, that is how uh, it does. Let's, I think a rare colors card. Uh, or common relic. I could just be like, let's get a relic. Let's get something to give us something, like a small advantage. The colors cards, I don't know if you can get the boss cards off of this. Because those are pretty good. I think I'll just do the relic. Bronze scales, totally fine. Um, gives us more thorns. Could build a very thorny deck. Um, we are essentially level 4. Everyone, normal enemies, elites, and bosses are more deadly. And elites spawn more often. So the idea is to go fight them. I think we can do two elites. I kind of like this left one first. Let's see how many rest. I think there's more rest on this left side. Not really, actually. About the same. Only difference is I would not be fighting the emerald elite. And I would not get a shot if I go to the right. The right has a lot more fights. Hmm, like the fully right. It's more, I can do one elite and get upgrade a bunch more cards. And a late shop. I can upgrade a lot of cards. One, two, three. But before, sh that's a lot of advantage right there. For one less elite, one less shop. We might do that. I think we'll make the decision here. We can decide how we're feeling. How many cards we need to upgrade. Definitely want to go down th this to start with. Um, Twin Slam. You kind of want the recall here. Very good. Um, just one point of strength adds damage to that. Hello, cultist. I'm gonna do a little bit of that right there and end that turn. Oh, I have. I've clicked off the screen. Uh, boop. Boop. One block. Ow. Hurt yourself if you can. Uh, I think we got it here. Twin slam. Strike. Strike. And there we go. Alright. Hmm. I like the temporary thorns. Like, with already the brown skills, could be a fun defensive build. Polybeam is just good with strength. Um, and that's kind of what I'm leaning towards here. And yeah, we can pick up other forms of defense in a little bit. Let's get our offensive set up. Just really add a socket to any socketed card. I think I'd rather just go with pain, though. Let's go ahead and get those tongs. Tongs are just good. And an early shot, we should be able to remove them. The only downside to removing them here is the fact that we won't be able to, um... Well, we, won't, we probably won't be able to break the key immediately, but that's not the end of the world. Brace 13. And we'll do this because he'll take some thorns damage. We won't get as much damage in here, but he should take a little bit of damage off the back. We should break, yeah. I don't know if it, he took the damage first or not. Unknown to me how that exactly works out. If we curl up at the end of the, the, the like, amount of strike. Or if we curl up at the beginning of it. We'll get a little bit of damage here. And we should still have enough for removal. So, we're good. Unless there's anything more exciting, of course. <laughs> an, an early gem finder here. The only downside to gem finder is that you only can get the common gem. Which is fine. There's some that add strength, 
They're kind of always beneficial besides clogging up your deck a little bit. I can't not take it this early. Um, but I don't know how far we will lean into it. This one card in your hand is stasis. Future plans is also good. Good instincts is nice too. Unfortunate blood vials good. Ninja Q is good. Uh, orange pellets are fine. Just not what we want. Hmm. I think I'll just remove the pain. Keep it kind of consistent. It'd be interesting to do a panache if we could get a lot of draw and a bunch of gems, but currently that's not the idea. Uh, you guys are doing 16. Not fun. Um, brace 10, that's not enough. Probably in here. Oh, broke both the curl ups. I like that. So easy to finish them off on. Not when I wanted to play. One of the two strikes. Not too bad. Drop mm -hmm. pile in space. Could be good, just free value. Good upgrade too. Two sockets. Hmm. It'd be like good to get trash out of our hand and set up for future turns. I kind of like it. Also, the fact that I has two the socket. Oh, nice. The only downside I really see with it is that it only gets the sockets on an upgrade, so it doesn't benefit from warp tongs. But really, is that that big of a problem? I think I go for the, the damage here. Curl up would have been fine, but I could have blocked it all anyway. So we'll go into the hunter here. Finder's fine. Go ahead and hit him once. 16. And I don't block him. Planning's not that helpful. If I would have had more attacks in my hand, I think it would have been really good. And we got him. This was not too bad of a fight. 16 damage for the relic, pretty much. Pretty good. Common gem. I think rubies and crystal wards are what we want. Ruby for now. Ooh, kunai. Three attacks. Uh, equal one dex. Pretty good. Why don't we play the third zero cost card in a single turn? I don't think this is the right card for it. Um, I kind of like recover. Putting, again, putting stuff in stasis is always pretty nice. But also it, that it has block and brace, I also, I'm kind of a fan of. Meal ticket. It's early enough, we probably can get some healing. Especially with us going probably this way to get question marks. Um, give us some health before the boss. Alright, uh, let's take this last one and then we'll make our decision which path we're going down. Let's anger the mushrooms here. Alright, uh, only one of you are attacking to start with. So, current to discard, so twin slam, recover. There's twin slams up there. I like that. Holly Bean, pretty good here. No damage, he's gonna take some on the thorns. Dark gonna get strong here, but that's fine. Ooh, this one's not. Great and defend. Uh, if curl up was upgraded. Better. And planning. Ooh, interesting. This planning first could have been fun. Oh, we're in defensive, we're good now. Ooh, the Ruby here. Very nice. Curl up for a bunch of uh, block here. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll as well kill one of them. Or we'll let them kill themselves, actually. Get a little more advantage off that. They're done. Very good. Gym finder here. Uh, Polybeam to see where the damage breaks. 21 here kind of sucks. Recover, but we're up to 28. I didn't even forget about that. Uh, planning. More. Um, yeah, we might as well get another one off the board. Doesn't matter, we're already vulnerable, so. Fine. Alright, Ruby. Twin slams. Ooh, this is kind of kind of not great. Um, yeah, error. Yeah, this it gets way worse when we can't. Um, when we have no more slots to fill up. Odd mushrooms, pretty good though. Tourmaline's also fine. More thorns. I mean, this kind of adds on to our defensive. But I think the aquamarine's a little better. Hmm. <laughs> We got this like hybrid, like gem basis kind of build right now. Like that, this benefits from strength from gems. I kind of like having one time bomb. We don't have any AoE. So let's go and do our break the ruby, which I didn't think we'd have enough for. That's good. 
in hand. So let's get the ruby planning. And then we'll enhance and put the Aquamarine and Twin Slam to give us some defensive capabilities with that. Twin Slam is always good. And I'm actually going to go with that on the upgrade, I think, to start with. Kind of one of our go-to cards. Oh, another shopkeeper here. Not really the person I want to be fighting, but, you know. Do what you can. Um, go ahead and get Twin Slam back. Lose out on a little bit of damage, but getting this back into our hands is pretty good. Planning, that's not not quick enough. Taking 10 here? Ugh. I'm taking 5. Blocking for 10 by man. That thorns is going to eat him up. Oh, and actually, Time Bomb, I think, will block. Kind of nice. Um, recover. Can I, I don't have anything free. Build us to the strike, so maybe we won't get it. We might have actually gotten back to it, but... I, I, uh, no, we wouldn't have gotten back to it. That's fine. Oh, wait. Fighting first. Temporary strength. Not quite what we wanted, but... We got him down to 100. Be a little bit slower of a build. Yeah, another ruby I'm fine with. Charge up. Charge up's really good. We really want the strength, so... Discard in the stasis, gain 8 block and 1 strength. Volatile. Nothing here. Unless it was free, we would... Or, uh... On a high sale, we would not have gotten it. Ruby. Good sign. I'm pretty okay with that. Don't want to draw them. Uh, charge up being 1 cost is much better. We want those strength. And we should probably should upgrade Polybeam next, I would assume. Gem Finder. Twin Slams. Recover. Crystal Ward. Defend. We're good. Oh, worm. oh, this is not as great of a hand. Actually, it was pretty good. Just the extra, like, tiny bit of strength you have on Polybeam just makes it so much better. Uh, I mean, I'm going for rubies and aquamarines, I think, are, like, the crux here. I need stuff I can socket, so Walker Claw is kind of that. Fits in that uh, wheelhouse we want. Okay, we're going to go here. Enhance, Ruby, and Walker Claw. Anything that just more strength. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Extra hit. Does this increase the... The number of times it gets. I actually walk across a little better here. Alright, another shopkeeper. We've healed so much. Just like hanging out through here. A uh, time bomb here. Fine. Uh, strike. Easy enough. Uh, brace for 13. We're a little short. You know, I should play it because we are going to get hurt here. Actually, drink. Can I get something that gives me race? No, it's when it ticks. Uh, choose a card in your hand, place a copy of stasis now. And shield charger is better, but it is not what we want. Let's see, how much damage does it take? We're at 58. Oh, yeah, you take all of it and then transform, which is not the way I wanted that to go. Uh, charge up here. Good. Walker Claw. Poly be uh planning. Something at first. Poly beam. Okay. Took some damage. Explode. Another Walker Claw here. Very good. Um, I think Walker Claw having the strength is better. Twin slam. Triple ward. Walker Claw for 27. And then we did another hundred there, so we're we're scaling pretty well. Our defensive just needs to be increased a little bit. If I to all enemies X times, increase this card's damage by one. It's not bad. Actually, very good. We have zero, so we're just gonna skip the merchant here. Don't even want to look at it. We'll come back to that. Um, Polybeam. Cover here. Back. Six. Yeah, I don't have, have a. Could have played Gym Finder, but six damage is six damage. 
planning here. That's up there. Ooh, oh, that's pretty good. Sweet. Curl up here. Gives us the tin we need. Actually, a little more. I don't want to take any more damage if possible. Okay. Oh, I think do it. Mm-hmm. And fit a no. Accelerate. Yes. Amber's pretty good. Alright, this is Void Defect. The mine time bomb here. Want to go ahead and get your buffers off. I, I'm kind of okay to play this. We'll wait right now, but the, the plated armor could be good to go ahead and do. I think it's Twin Slam. Do a little bit of damage there. I guess it should have been. No, no, Twin Slam is right. I had to get the buffer off before I play the walking ball. 24 damage there. Go ahead and accelerate that time bomb. All enemies, yep. We haven't set up anything defense. I am going to go ahead and break this, just in case. I would like to perf this. Alright, we've done a good bit. 24 coming in here. Um... Or one brace short here, unfortunately. Planning. That's fine. I mean, it's definitely defend, recover, unfortunately. And then we'll put this amber up there to accelerate next turn. But yeah. What? Yeah. One brace, and I think we could have gotten out of this alive. Well, got out of this stuff again. Cards up to get another point of strength and uh, more block. 17 here. Fine. I can really play Polybeam at this point. Yeah. We're going to get the plated armor, so we're good. Intensive here. Point Sam. Crystal Ward here. Uh, 14, we're good on defending. But we could go ahead and play curl up because we'll keep some of this for the next turn. One of the advantage of being in a defensive mode. Yep, and so we, we're pretty good here. We will recover, recover the twin slam. Um, and then we'll just walk the ball. That dark orb is gross. It's growing in the back. Coffee here. Six damage. At three, so one defense. Probably. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and play it in here. Should have played and got the strength first, but. Alright, let's. Amber first. 11 times 3 by 2, so. 11 to all enemies, so that's 33 damage. That's not enough. Wait, with the twin slam, though. It's 41, still not enough, I don't think. No. Um, yeah, no, it is. Crystal War. 12, the 36. Actually, this is not. Uh, increased strength ended up mattering. Another Ruby, sure. Regen Potion, sign. Accelerate three times. A random enemy. I always want laser turret to be better, but I just can't unless you can put it in there because really it's At its best 36 damage over three turns mm. By three and let's back to one Stasis feel I kind of like we need a, a couple more defensive cards. I feel like so Pretty good there. I Don't think I really want well Pandora's box is very tempting here. Not removed any strikes or any defense. Having just more cards to sock it into be super good. I'm gonna try it. Piercing hide, great. Both these, I just ha I was worried about not getting defensive cards. These two are great. Uh, floating orbs, I like a lot. Revenge protocol's fine. Uh, scenario's fine. These are all actually not too bad. I think it was actually a pretty good pull right there. 
All right, let's look here. Elites. Um, three elites total. So max two. Maybe go for the emerald this time then. You get more rest on the left side. I have a sizable bed. Actually, if I go for the emerald, I get no rest. I mean, I get, yeah, none at all. Uh, I think it's actually the left side. The left side. And go for the two elites. Early shop, too. Enhance. Ruby goes in piercing hide. We'll enhance again. Amber goes in piercing hide. Uh, Smith here. So, fear one. All these new cards. Basis, tick, volatile, draw a card. Or at least basis. Exhaust and server strength. So it's pretty much 10 damage, draw one card, and exhaust. After two turns. That's fine. Uh, I think revenge protocol really is the worst one here. But honestly, revenge and harden. Uh, hardened action might be the worst one. Because we're not in defensive. It's like requires us to be in defensive a lot more but with the piercing hide giving us more brace be possible um multi beam would be good but I'm, i haven't really used it that much poly beam also pretty good um, i think we've lost a little bit of defensive here so i'm gonna go with stasis i think i mean i already have done it but i think that's the right call All right, piercing hide here. Gray thorns, nine block. Doing 12. Let's piercing hide again. I should have done that first. I had the the um, amber in there. I would have accelerated. That's fine now. I'm going to put that back in there. Some two turns to pull a card. But yeah, we've got our stasis stuff set up pretty well. We, just thought we need ways to selectively put cards in there, like polybeam. Uh, no, multi-beam. Finder, crystal ward, and let's hit him with a big walk ball. Yeah, I think that's the only downside is um the whatchamacallit. One more energy boot would have been good for Walker Claw since it's a two cost. Must be in defensive mode. Do I have a way? Yep. Curl up. Harden. In the days, but that's fine. Hinge protocol. Charge up. Yep. Keep keep them coming. Recover. Um, let's go ahead and recover Gem Finder so we can actually play it. Oh. It's fine, but... <laughs> I was not expecting that many cases. Oh, they almost killed themselves. And I think or having an orb slam will be very good. Just consistent cards. Um, I mean... Great thorns, ruby. I think rubies are always good. Keep them coming. Another floating orb. I like floating orb a lot. Can't tell. And just having damage come into your hand on turns where you didn't have any is good. Perfect hide here. I'm pretty happy with. Uh, incinerate. Accelerate. Fine. What else am I going to play? We'll be brace 10, that's not enough. Add a random power, I guess. The pulsar, not that great. Guess I could have went for the random attack, but it's fine. We're in defense now, so we don't need to block this turn as much. Ruby, charge up, recovery. Go ahead and recover the piercing hide for me. And then we'll probably be for a good amount of damage. Okay, floating orbs is... I like that the orb tongue upgrades floating orbs because it comes zero. And it's just super good that way. Uh, planning to put one up there, which is fine. We really want it for the strength. I was hoping we could do this in one. But I guess the correct move is walk and fall then. Then jump finder. Alright, here we go. Take this field. Good. Piercing hide. Accelerate that back twin come back down to me. Uh, we're not gonna get into curl up, right? I can get 13, it's 18. 
not enough. So Harden is not that great. We have 31, so I'm not too sad about it. Uh, but piercing guy is a great move because he's gonna hurt himself. Yep. I did not mean to take that. I took an Aquamarine, right? I'm fine with that though. I was not meaning to take it. Uh, Vince team here, upgraded vulnerability for threes, just good. But the double sockets is also very nice. Hello, shopkeep. I'm hoping to kill you here. How do you feel about this? Indecisive. Got it. Hmm. Planning. Vince team multi beam. Thanks. 13 twice. Oh, if I can get offensive, it'd be great. I think I can though. Not quite. And oh, he is gonna hurt me. Uh, okay, let me see what I can fish here. Jim Cannon, no. No, if I fix all enemies, no. And Jim Cannon could be fine just to keep it as upgraded. Deal damage equal to your block here. 11 damage. Revenge protocol. That's oh, two. There we go. I probably may choose one to put in stasis now. File package. Entry package here. Mostly for the weakness. Yeah, I really didn't want to take that much. Damage. Planning's not great. Reek program looks top four. Uh, that's not not necessary. Okay, we're good here. Took two potions, but I should have just used the zero cost one first. I was just incorrect on my end. Aquamarine, that's fine. Other floating orbs here. Temporary strength. I can only play some of these. Generate accelerates, fine. So I want the 14 or 21. I think it's 21 and then... And we got another point strength from... Uh, no, we got a point of dex from Kunai. I don't know if we can do 100 in one turn. Like one shot short. Pretty good hand though. All I can here. Charge core. Orb slam. Orb slam. I didn't realize orb slam synergizes with kunai too. Not enough, but not too bad. I mean, I'm liking prismatic spray here. We've made another gem deck by accident, but I'm always. I'm never like opposed to it. Uh, I think six point gems is good. Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough for it. I clicked it so assuredly. Alas, it was not meant to be. Okay. Add a gem to a socket, remove a card, gain a gem. Destroy all gems and socketed cards. Remove a socket card, gain a gem. Okay, what would we want to, let's probably want to remove. I'm thinking harden, it's just a dead. We're not in defensive enough. Like, it's good if we get it, but I don't think it's um, necessary, so. Move Harden, we got a uh, Sapphire. Ooh, Brace 3. I'm okay with that. Ruby goes to Prismatic Spray. Sapphire also goes to Prismatic Spray. And Aquamarine also goes to Prismatic Spray. Got three gems out of the deck, and that card completely set up. And it's gems. We're all... All gems in a socket. No, I think we're good there. 200 souls, haunt, 50 50 for right. A wrath. Um. Wish I could do both. This is two facing with a large copy. It's studded with gems. I hit the red color, however, you notice black fog seeping from the sides. You're familiar with the fog. Hmm. I think Writhe is less bad, so we'll take that. Tiny chest, and we didn't even get cursed. So. Ended up in our favor. 
Sundial's pretty good. Here, I think we smith the Prismatic Spray now. Because it's fully uh, gymmed out. Hello, Book of Stabbing. You are not going to like me. There's a stuff like Piercing Hide. Um, I think we go ahead and get the Ancient Power out. That's fine. We are going to take more damage here than we need to, but... We are now, like, we, we can be set up. We're already in defensive, so... Right? Get out of our hand. Binder, get that out. Curl up, bunch of block. Warp slam and damage. And yeah, I'll go ahead and block here. So many thorns. Gotta eat. Alright, um, planning first. And steam on you. One, two, three. Yep. Another slam. Crystalis. All I need. Warp slam. Alright. Let's see. Uh, this is a weird hand. 24 coming in. I might can just go for the... Try to kill him? He's already vulnerable. So let's not do that. No, I don't have enough damage here to do that. Charge up. We really want to block piercing high here. 15 blocks in this field, that's fine. Barb slam for some damage. Yeah, we would have had enough. We didn't take we actually didn't take any damage there. We have enough this time though. Barb slam. Twin slam. We're good. Twin slam should have been first, technically. Captain's wheel, 18 block in your third turn. I like the ones that just give you free block. Uh, another ruby. And then another ruby. I want to put those in the vent steam. Okay. Ruby. Got three here. I mean, prismatic spray. This is a bunch of effects. Strength, brace, crystal ward. The yes, I think it's boom, boom, boom. This, this, these three. Prismatic spray first. Then the twin slam next. That's six. And then stasis field. Start letting it upgrade itself is pretty good. Okay, planning first. Floating orbs is good. Vent. I'm bomb. No, I think Vent Steam probably just better. Honestly, I think Time Bomb has. Unless it's played for free, I don't think it really has as much of a place on the deck anymore. Take field. Ruby. I mean, I kind of like just getting the floating orbs out here. One, I can do seven to all enemies. I'm already blocked up. Let's just get, go ahead and start getting Charge Core out of the deck, too. Because, yeah, we're going to accelerate right here. All right. Space is filled back. Um, yeah, Revenge Protocol. Fine. Or Slam. Or Slam. He's dead on himself. Let's start hitting. Actually, let's just go for the, the Charge Up setup. Twin. These two. Kunai trigger. Oh, that's not right there. Do you need to do the math, really? Uh, I think we go with the amethyst this time. Amethyst just like is a good defensive play, and we're adding a lot of strength gain, but also, you know, we have to defend sometimes. Um, nice spray, charge core, continue. Oh, I should have played the ward just so I didn't draw it again. Whoops, gem finder's fine. Gem slam being for free is pretty good here. Vent steam, twin slam, ward, orb slam. And there's the block I need. And we still have one more for planning. That was right. So oh, this, this, drawing the gems and having to pay for them is gross. Um, orb slam is six. I want to play that first. Ah, oh, 22 here. Oh, we're fine though. I do revenge protocol. And I can just play this. That's fine. 21. Oh. 
Hmm, I think I want some more aqua aquamarines. Fruit juice is very good. Go ahead and drink that for the max HP. I actually don't mind another incinerate. I'm gonna lose a relic. Oh no, gain a relic. Get cursed with pride. We didn't get the rides, so I'm kind of okay with that. I don't know. Map. Rest. We have another. I'd rather take the pride. Uh, Toy Ornithopter is not really the one I wanted there. Recover this card in your draw pile. Exhaust. I'll be draw. So you always draw it. Okay. All right, amethyst. Accelerate. That's fine. Uh, rubies. I like an event steam. I feel like that's a good play because you can play the vent steam for the vulnerability, gain two strength. And then be able to hit them. And we are all set back up again. So the floating orb, orb scene free would be good. But I think you get a second draw. No, you're just more damn. If this drew another card, I'd be like much more gung ho for it. Another socket slot. Let's just go polybeam. We usually play it, and having an extra hit just kind of synergizes well with what we're doing. Hello, friends. Get this out of here. Okay, that's gone. Hmm. Well. Um. This is the play. Okay. Take five, but they hurt themselves. We have 30 damage from you. I don't really like that idea. There's some hide here. Uh. I could recover the piercing hide again. That's not that great. Uh, deal six damage for each. I could kill one of these. And then I would get a brace. Which I would I would go back into defensive mode before no I wouldn't. I still take 30 from him. Hmm. Charge up. We're really good block next turn for Captain's Wheel. I actually think I'll just remove you from the field. And I think that's what we do. Still gonna hurt, but I think that was the best one for 20 there. But we gain a bunch for the next two turns. So. And they're going to do this. They should almost die. Uh, that might not have been the right move there. Actually just knock them out here. Oh, that Vince team would have been good here. 66 block for this turn, though. Very nice. Uh, time bomb's pretty good, actually. Planning's pretty good. Or slam. I'm just gonna start hitting the actual gremlin leader, or I could just knock one of these guys out so he doesn't attack next turn. Uh, uh, yeah. Or where he he's not guaranteed to attack next turn. Technically, he still is though. Um, well, there's a block in here. Then this is 30 damage if it hits right. Oh, that's, I mean, the better of the ways it could have hit. Ooh, hello, friend. We don't have to be this aggressive, do we? Oh, man. Uh, happy Flower's good, but we took a beating in that fight. Uh, another stasis field. This one's gonna suck too. Pride. Um, revenge. Faces, yeah. Charge up also would have been good, but this one's gonna not be fun. I was hoping to be able to get in defensive here. That was kind of my goal. Generate. Faces filled again. It keeps getting better. And let's go ahead and start tagging one of these. Yeah, that's fine. No damage. And we are close. Oh, Captain's Will here is very good. Oh, no. It's Vince Steam on one of these ones first. Polygene. That was pretty good. You can get seven thorns. They would be dead. I can either accelerate or I can gain the strength. Actually, I can play both of these. I would like him dead. Let's do this. Piercing hide. 
Actually, I'm kind of okay to keep, keep the stasis field in rotation. 30 damage coming in. Yeah, let's not take any more. Because he, he's killing himself slowly. They all are. Do I have an AoE here? I don't. Planning. Eh, not the best. This is a great turn, honestly. 13. I can kill one of them. 13 times 3. 39. So, yeah, let's get you gone. More defense. One damage would have been great here. Are all cards in stick. Okay. Or stick. Okay, we're good now. Right. Side spray. Gonna rate. Corpse. Flashing oil. Enter defensive mode for one round. Very good. I mean, I this is. I mean, it's it's necessary, right? If in defense mode, otherwise brace aid. Shield spikes are very good. Does it go to one? No. If it went to one, I would be very tempted. Nope, I need the damage card. Backstab on the first turn. Well, aren't we uh, very aggressive? 13 damage coming in to start with. I can't block that much. Well, I might could. It would be very... No, I don't. <laughs> All right, drink the regen here. Um, oh, and we got it from the uh, Torland Thopter. Hmm. Or I could do Ancient Power and see what I get. And a power to our hand. Really optimistic. I mean, if not, we're not going to be able to block anyway, so. Let's do it. Revenge Protocol was not, was not it. To play up down to eight, so we will be in to um, defensive mode. This is the duplicate silent, which is not the run I really like to fight here, because I'm I'm pretty target heavy, single target. Getting these like started and getting this out of my hand, I'm kind of totally fine with. Yeah, because the duplicate also does not take damage from thorns. So I really need to hit them at least once. To make sure they have a, like an AOE bar. Uh, this is 43 damage though, which is kind of nice. Okay. Yeah, start getting all of our stuff like out of our deck that we don't need to play. All the powers and such. Alright, duplicate, so I need to hit you once. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Doing the AoE attacks are gonna hurt you, dude. Just so you know. I've warned you. That is 20. This takes us up here, it's pretty good. Brings us to 22. Uh, if Karlop was upgraded, it would be worth it. Just from the amount of damage they would take on the thorns. They still took a lot. All right, duplicates. Charge up's good. Landing's also good. Both the floating orbs is also very good. That way we have at least a small attack we can poke them with every turn. And we can start building up that deck. Because that just like works into that. Okay, those are out. Um, 20 damage here. Piercing hide. Get up to 26. I could, could no, I cannot. Mm-hmm. with that. I, I want to keep the stasis fields in rotation. One more energy would be very nice here. Because we're like kind of doing like a rotating type thing. Um, time bomb out of here is fine. I can go ahead. I don't really want to incinerate twice. Do I? Do I recover here? Put the stasis field back in there. Um, they're doing a single hit for 14. 
Alright, good. I just want to decide. Probably be, I think, the right move. Oh, we're up to seven strength. Interesting. I don't remember getting that much, but. Yeah, let's do that. Reward. Okay. We don't get to play the same skill for this time. Orb slam. Ooh. 43 there. Do not upgrade the orb slam. Try that one. They're doing 45 here. E, I have, do not have a lot to block. I have no block, actually. Don't do vulnerability for them. Lots of strength for us. Plan to slam for more strength. Crystal ward. They're going to lose true strength, which is actually very good for us. They're only doing 30 now. And they're down to nine hit points. So, they're going to take five here. Oh, no, they killed themselves. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Um, crystal wards. We need a little bit more defensive, like, adder adders. Um, I mean, this spherical shield is really good. Brace 30 is just, like, saves you sometimes. But bubble burst is also very good. Give us a lot of it, advantage. I really need, not like Runic Dome. Can I do this without resting again? I don't even know what two cards I've removed. I think I'll go Coffee Dripper. Not usually one of the one, like relics I would willingly take, but. Going to necessary. There's a question mark and a half path. I like that a lot. You will actually get another elite there. A lot of elites here, so. Two, one has, I can do three, do this, but no, no resting. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, a tough one. Aquamarine in the bobble burst. Oh, about double click. I think I'll go ahead and upgrade that too. Because it'll give us three crystal shivs. So, I know it gives us three crystal wards. If we can get the sh crystal shivs too, that would be even better. Because we can pretty much also get a point of dex every time we play it. Also, I really want to remove pride. <laughs> Not that good for us. Um, Friends protocol here. Charge up. Also, not very good of an opening hand because we're going to take 12 here. Wow. Ow. But we are more defended now. Um, Bobble burst. That's just uh, in the strength. I'm gonna block a bunch here. I actually need to do some damage too. 46. Good. Yes, please. Don't take damage yet. When that when all the dark darkens attack, it can be pretty bad. Just to all. Uh, this would be eight. 16, 24, 32. Ooh, that is close. Recover. Poly beam. That's fine. We should be able to kill him in one turn. If not, yep, he's attacking. He kills himself, but go ahead and knock him out. I, <sighs> Crystal wards are good. It's not really the one I want, though, but I'll take it. <laughs> I can put in something else. Okay, I've never seen this. You stumble open a box. It's covered, etching, it's strange runic symbols. Staring inside, you notice a strange egg shaped device coming softly. You don't know, uh, don't know what it is or it's the energy. Powerful. I mean, gain quantum chamber. Choose a card. Sorry, I'm each cover with this card. Move from your deck. At the start of the first turn, there are two copies in your hand? Sure, I've never seen that. So we get two copies on the fourth turn. What do I want? What do I want? I mean, my gut goes to charge up because we're so strength based and playing two of those would be really good. <laughs> if it was a different deck, we can do two gym fighters. I think charge up would be good. Later in the fight, 
um, you know, the strength build. Oh. oh, man. Just the not good, very bad turns. Recover here. Still gonna take some damage. Gross. Void on the top of the deck. Not being able to rest probably will kill us here. I, I, I have this, like, strange feeling about it. Time Bomb. Orb Slam. This is at least some block. Not a lot, but... Oh. Alright, defensive mode here. This guy is just... Keeps putting in the dazes. Uh, six. You're dead. You're gonna hurt yourself. Warp slam. Crystal ray. I just kind of want to knock out the repulsor guy. I'm gonna get more block here. And get that, like, rotating around. Oh, it, it's two additional copies. Oh. Charge up. Did not understand it quite the way I thought I did. I should be able just to just... Punch this dude a lot. Get on this first. Um, I mean, might as well, right? Not hitting me, so we got this real cool. I think I'm good for a second. We're gonna skip that one for now. Shield Charger, defensive, and more energy. I mean, I gotta fight for the relic. Pride gone. I'm glad we got some block on the first turn. 43 would suck for one of you. And I mean, I, I guess I should. Right? Getting one of these knocked out would be very good. Alright, and we can get into the pinch mode here for additional block this turn. Basis field. Nice. What would I recover here? Piercing Hide would be a good recovery. And then we could still play Walker Claw. Let's do that. Let's get the Piercing Hide. Because it also accelerates. And then play Walker Claw on, on you. Getting one of these out of the fight would be very good. We're still taking a little bit. Ouch. 28. Very good. And this is to all enemies. We will not be taking any damage. Go ahead and do this first. Nicer. And then we'll do this. That's one of them gone. Take three here. Alright, and there's all the charge ups. Uh, piercing hide for free. I could play three of them right there, but then we would take 20 damage for no reason. Um, Twin Slam here. Crystal Ward. Charge up and accelerate them. I could play two and then get 18 block. Yeah. Charge up one, charge up two, accelerate. Yep, 20, 23. Take no damage, and we should be able to knock him out on this turn. Or we can get a very bad, not good hand and take two damage, or four damage. Wow. I wasn't expecting that bad of a hand. Old coin, 300 souls, pretty good. Another piercing hide. But I feel like we we struggle to get defense on the first turn. Planning, throw two of those in there. And still, take some damage. Ow. Okay. Throw this out of here. No, none of these are what I want. Punch. I should have played more of the cards before. I, I need to get a slow up. It was is what I'll have to try to do. Cover. Walker claw to the top. I do not want to play a piercing high because we're going to accelerate. And it's going to be a waste of energy. Overall. Okay, I would, uh, race 2, 11 block. I would gain block, but that's fine. Now I want to accelerate here. Make room for some stuff. Ancient power. Ancient construct sign. Crystal ward. 
up to 54 block, so just a little bit. Charge core, orb slam. That's fine. He does heal, so I do have to really uh, focus on hitting him with things. Bench protocol is kind of nice. I wish I had more. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, incinerate. Charge up. Charge up. Let's start uh, doing a couple things here. Uh, bobble burst here. Jib. I mean, ward, ward, ward. Ball for 42. Yeah. And we're up to the perfect amount of block here. Yep. That's pretty nice. Um, AIDS kind of sucks here. I, I do want the time bomb out of my deck. It has, it's kind of gotten very cumbersome. 32. I think it's time bomb, then just poly beam, and then orb slam. Taking eight more. Ow. He stopped 300, he stopped 319. The seven regen here is terrible for us. Um, bubble burst is kind of nice. All burst since steam. Yeah. I definitely need to play this for, if nothing, just for more block. And then we're going to hit him. And then hit him. Okay. We're slowly outscaling him, I think. Um, another charge up. Planning. Fine. Um, he's doing 50 damage here. Prismatic here. Crystal Ward. I mean, we're keeping up with them. Here, what that is. 11 there. 28 twice. Okay, we did get him before taking more. Hey, there is Gemstone Gun. I actually really like. Crystal Ward to the deck. Emerald Key. Got that duplication potion is really good. Ancient Construct is what I want. Oh, no. Having this artifacting to gain the thorns every single turn is great. Um, citrine, of course. Okay. I have... So this goes into our opening hand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, start each combat. I think I want the defensive. Even though the draw is really good. More energy and defense on the first turn would be very nice. Because we've been, like, struggling to... Stop people from punching us in the face the first turn. Uh, Sapphire Key here is great. Are we going to have another shop? <laughs> I may have... Like, we have 700. Uh, break the Sapphire. Break the Emerald. Enhance. Can we put this in anything? Oh, yeah, we can. I really want to save our Bobble Burst. So, I might smith something first. You get more damage. Maybe Smith planning to get another socket here. Does this go socket? 13. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we can't even do it. Whoopsie doodle. Okay. Nemesis, hopefully I can deal with you pretty good. Pretty quickly. All right. That, I guess that retains, doesn't it? Yeah, it gains retain, so. Whoops, but that's fine. And I mean, 51 damage to start off with. I can play all this. So. One more strength. Strength. Incinerate. 52 damage here. So now we have to contend with his nonsense. 21 to start with. He's not... Uh, not making it easy for me, but we should... Okay. Right up there. Oh, and defensive. That's what I kind of want to see. Charge core. I think I want the floating orbs more than playing the polybeam for ones here. Get yourself, sir. Only one each, but I'm okay with that. 45. Okay. This is where we need to have a talk. I don't... I don't agree with this, man. I can't kill him. Oh, we're at 34 block, though. Okay. And then we can accelerate. We're fine, but I still don't agree with you trying to punt me. Right in the face. Very rude. And distasteful. In there. I would like to do planning, but at the same time, I cannot. And then you are invulnerable again. Okay. 
Charge up. Charge up. Orb slam. Swim slam. Piercing high. Crystal. I, I have not seen our ancient construct yet. Okay. I think that is good enough for me. Add more burns to my deck. Oh, there's ancient construct. Aquamarine. Brace three here, it's not fast. But accelerating those bees is really good. I wanna do this first, I think. Uh, yeah. Ancient Construct, Piercing Hide, accelerates these two out. We're up to 49 now. He's already dead. I didn't, I thought he was invulnerable. Mercury Alagas, Hourglass, very good. Um, yeah, again, energy if you have current stasis. We normally have a current stasis, so I'm okay with that. Oh, we are going to a stop. We're not going this way. We're going this way. Ornamental fan. Every three attacks we play gain four block. Actually, very crucial. Giant head. I've already fought the worst giant head. You are nothing to me except an evil, evil man. Stasis feels. Accelerate. And then multi beam here. Aid. Ugh. Void. Another stasis field there. Oh no, it's the same one. Orbs. Field. Uh, actually, ancient construct is better. Getting that upgraded also will be very good. Okay. Bobble beam. Ward. 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 Um, orb slam for free. Doing 13, we have 30. I think it's 48. Yeah, let's do charge core and then probably kind of okay with that. <laughs> the charge up, charge up team. Charge up two of those. Um, Aquamarine, like that. Play the orb slam. I wish I could play the third charge up, but I can't. Um, curl up here is fine. Go ahead. And do this break. I could play one more crystal ward, but it's in the deck now. Oriole strike. And uh, can I get anything else? I want to accelerate. Yeah, recover. Put back. Accelerate everything. The ward. We have tons of block now. Yes, I can play just all of it. Planning, even though, oh, we did. Yeah, we're up to 97, then this should do. And it served, oh, it's still only 11, even though he had time to 10%. No. Uh, we do not have anything to put up there. Uh, Gym Finder, kind of dead card now. Gym Finder, still play it though. Um, 45 block, I cannot get to. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, twin slam here. Six block. I mean, I think I have to go to defensive mode, right? Can't accelerate any of these, can I? No. Yeah, go to this. Heal up a little bit there. Ouch. Down to 12. Bad turn for me. Okay. Rains. There's the ward. Charge up. Base is field for 19. Curl up for 16 more blocks here. Orb slam. Orb slam. A couple more damage here. More block. Right. Um. Alright. Planning. Get two more cards. Um, crystal ward. We, we're blocked fully. Get power for free. I mean, might as well do that. I mean, we're playing everything pretty much. Yeah, we're starting to do a lot of damage. But he's starting to get to a certain amount of damage too. Play all these. Once we get going, we are. Like, we get on a good roll, but 
it does take us a while. I don't want to add any more of those cards. Uh, another polybeam would be really good. Fine. Just good. Value. All right, 63 damage. Hopefully we can pull that off pretty easily. I always have the draw because we just got a zero, uh, a no attack hand to start with. 30 is a, not nothing to scoff at here. But all these are pretty good. I'm not getting anything into um, stasis. Ugh. He's doing 30? What's we'll five here? Floating orbs again. Another bad. Oh, 10 more. Down to 17. But mill ticket will heal up a little bit on. Bark Claw. Crystal Ray. Ah, all the souls. We're up to 1,017. Hopefully, it is pretty good for us. Mm, no, I think we're good. Alright, let's buy everything. Alright, thank, thank you. Let's remove a card first. Because I know we should do that. Age to get out of here. I was trying to think, oh, what card are we not really using very much? Hmm, I wonder. Ah. Uh, rest us up to three. No. I like priming shot. Our, the selection of relics was really bad, unfortunately. There's no good po Honestly, the polishing oil could be very useful. Prepared crush is also pretty good. But the inspire is good. Priming shot's good. Um, I think that's anything here that I'd want. Pants. Aquamarine goes in here. Aquamarine goes in planning. Smith. I think you got to do Ancient Construct here. Does this become an eight? No, but they are upgraded. Our crust is 15 block. No, I think it's Ancient Construct. I think the real, real crux of our plan will be getting Ancient Construct out really soon. Oh, and then we have to fight Rising Mass, who could just decimate us without without worry. Okay, planning here. Ward. That. Another Crystal Ward, only 18. He's doing 21. We're blocking. That's fine. All right, we just need like big, big super damage hand. I don't even know if I want to hit him here. Um, Boreal Strike. 27. Not really what I want. Walker Claw. 12. We'll take it. Okay. I mean, Slime Crush for 34. Do I have anything else to back it up? Crystal? I think so. Slime Crush. Crystal Ray. That was not that bad. Which is good. Because I was expecting it to be. Another crystal ray. Yeah. This has an additional, like, big high damage card. Alright. Ancient Construct here is really good. Oh, we have Minikin's Gun. I was like, what else do I play? I only have one more card I can play. Forgot. We, we have our, our energy first turn. Successful stuff. Um, we didn't have anything to put in there. That's fine, though. We'll do it for one. I have not used multi-beam for its intended purpose yet, because I have no way to, like, not randomly retain it. 18 here, kind of sucks. We are not constricted, though. Very good. Piercing hide. We okay, get up to 20, and we, we are good. 56 is just a lot of damage. All right, artifact in here. I think he's gonna continuously try to constrict me. Which is kind of funny. Accelerate everything. The ward. Floating. Nice. A good charge up turn. We don't have enough space. 
do one of them. Punch him a couple times. Twin slam him here. Get some block. Oh, we did get constricted this turn, though. Okay. Fair crush. We're up to 35, so I think we're fully blocked here. But just in case, I don't want to take any damage. So. Yep, we're good. Down to five. We cannot not kill him, so. Mm-hmm. Turns to your hand. Emergency's not bad. I think we're we're good though. Alright. Come on, good opening hand. Not the best. Okay, they're gonna gain mantra. Gotta keep that in mind. Might retain this one actually. I don't think I need it yet. They go past five, so. But actually not a good boss for us. Because we play a lot of cards every I don't want to draw these again, but not, not a lot I can do about it. Play the armor here. Ancient Construct here is very good to see early. I also think that the Spire here. And no, we're going to get... Yeah, let's go ahead and put another state. Again, we're not putting a lot of damage down yet, but we're also not... We're also just setting ourselves up. Okay. Are right, I gonna try to punch us now? 40 damage. Hello. Nice to meet you. 30 damage here. Okay. I get into defensive. Odd. But I think we're okay. We can block for 30. We're already good. Next. Four already. Armor protocol. Let's actually start hitting them. Oh, that was only one each. This is gonna be bad. Okay. This is the kind of turn we need if they're not hitting us. They're not really. That's pretty good. Okay, I don't play anything else. I just let I let my cards do their thing. We got all the charge ups up, so I mean, what more could I really want? Mm. Bubble burst is terrible here. Uh, Accelerate pretty good though. Fifty two. She is doing. 15, 18, so not bad. So, go ahead and actually hit them, get all their stuff off. Cover something. Hmm, let's actually put the stasis filter there. We haven't done that yet. And let's get the floating orb out of the deck. Okay. Lime Crush here is kinda, kinda nasty. Time bomb. Prepare another crush. Keep that cycling. Hit them hard. And then just wait. We are recycling back through the deck now. This is where our hands are going to get really bad. I'm pretty sure. Expunger for 18 is not the worst. 19 right there. Impulse Strike. Drop to 4. Slime Crush for a million. Polybeam for the rest, right? They go up to six, but I'm okay with that. I do like the exp that they're using the expunger because they hurt themselves so much. All right, four. That's fine. Crystal Wards will solve that. There's six currently. Basis field, I'm kind of okay with. Fully growing. But now I think I can play the orb plan. There we go. That was a perfect 17 hit points and we beat the third floor boss. 1,030, I'm pretty happy. Let's approach that door. I was not expecting, I was really expecting to lose there. I was gonna say we do heal, right? Oh, now the problem is we're gonna go into that, the now, the Niao fight and he is going to destroy us. Cause I think he also will gain advantages every card we play. 
And we just play we just play a lot of cards. It's gonna be a mismatch. Trick Rush here is good. Jill Charger is a good setup. Faces field, and then we'll go ahead and do that. We gained one energy, but we're fine. I am happy that we have another shopkeep. Uh, it allows us to probably remove Gem Finder, honestly. And um, just take advantage of our good, good deck. Like, it's fun to play a lot of cards. Um, we can play one. Either this one or this one. I mean, Gym Ray, I mean Crystal Ray is actually just better at the point. Yeah, remember they have the bomb, and I tend to forget about it. It's 30 damage. Oh, it's 50 damage. More than I expected. But we're in defensive, so we are good. Temporal Strike here. Crystal Shield Charger. Go ahead and get the Ancient Power out. Honestly, Ancient Power isn't doing a lot for us. It's kind of just a nice card if we get it for free. Also, this, what we did here with this, was very fun. Like, I like the way it ended up turning out. I'm gonna punch you, we're going to get a million wards. If only I had letter opener would be really good here. We do play a lot of skill. Um okay that's fine. Alright, let's set up another bomb. Ready to spire this time. Ooh, that's a that's a lot of damage you're you're saying you're gonna see. Mm, Alright. Did not block as much as I needed to there. Unfortunate. Oh, I mean, we're going to stop the kill. I just was not expecting them to come out of nowhere with that much damage. Never mind. Okay. Thorns, we need up to 50. 50 blocks. Let's play these two. That. I do want to play Ancient Construct. Floating orbs. I'm going to take six, I think, if that. Now we're exactly 50 block. Alright. Um, Temporal Strike. Stonu Blast. Floating Orbs for free. Crystal Ward. They're doing 36. Which is a lot. I think we can definitely get past that. Orb Slam. Yeah. We got our like recursive engine kind of going with the Orb Slams now. Our job. All right. This is field. We're gonna do the hide. We have plenty of them here. We're gonna get some more as we go. This, that, or the 67. We still are going to take a little bit of damage here, unfortunately. With the 50 here and 20, that's 76 damage. We'll take a tiny bit. Um, yeah, but they're gonna die on the crack. Oh, they didn't die on the crack because probably because of tungsten rod, I think. Ooh, Baylor's lordly plate. Whenever you brace, brace one more. I've never seen that one. That's pretty cool. This orb walk, more strength. Orb walk is good. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. Fifteen healing, pretty good here. Ooh, there we go. Membership card before we start. Might as well just buy like a lot of things. I'm gonna go ahead and remove Gem Finder. Or do I remove Pride? Hmm. They both do same like problem. Or they're one energy. I guess Pride is technically worse here. Uh, we get one more rest too. How many cards do we have? How many gems do we have? None. How many gem slots do we have? One at least. One. One. So we can buy one gem, which I think it would be Sapphire. <laughs> we'll go ahead and buy Oddly Smooth Stone. Akabeko. Might as well. Does Akabeko work with just strikes? Or is that? No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of strike dummy. Akabeko's fine. And once for every, for every 12th card you play, actually. Chrono Boost, pretty good. I like our potions. Pretty good here. Four times decrease the number of times this card hits by one. And we're upgraded. Now, too late for that. I think we just take 154. Actually, we'll take one future plans here. Alright. Enhance. Sapphire. Oh, we did have two, actually. 
but Bubble Burst is better. And then we need to upgrade one more card. Does this become an eight? It does. Yeah, it's future plans. That way we actually could take advantage of our, um, not the polybeam, the other one. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no, not Prismatic Ray. It's not the one I'm thinking of. The X cost we have. Uh, the multi-beam. So it actually can increase its damage. All right, now. The first two we should be fine on. Honestly, we probably should take them a little slower just so we can set up. Oh, study the fire opening hand. That's fine. Future plans. The only thing I could have wished more was to have, um... Whatchamacallit? Ah, uh, the Ancient Construct is the one I want to get out first. That's really where we're going to start growing. Chrono Boost here? Totally fine. Aged kind of sucks. Some planning. There it is. So we want to accelerate that as much as possible. Take the shield here. Gem Finder. Not one we want, but I can't really complain about it too much. We did, like, support the Gem Finder. The gems ended up being just, like, good stuff on top of everything. Now this sucks. We got both aged back. Well, we got the aged from Niao and then the void from the defect back to back, which kind of puts a damper on our fun. Um, I mean, we're gonna play incinerate it. Do this. Put that out. Piercing hide here. Uh, we still don't take any damage, luckily. I'll put this in the stasis. But at the same time, it does suck. Because we really don't want to take damage. Can I accelerate some of these cards out of stasis? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Uh, go ahead and do the... Do I really want the deck of shield, though? I think I have other cards I'd rather... I mean, I should still play it, though. Yeah, it's just 20 block. I can't put anything in the stasis here, so... Let them continue through. I've, I've really slowed this fight down to a crawl like I wanted. Ancient Construct being played is great. Uh, 17 block here. Do I want sh Oh, I'm not going to be able to get, get out of it. I am going to take 10. Uh, shield Charger. Very good. I can't accelerate. I can't do nothing like that. These potions really need to be saved for the, the final fight if I can help it. Haunted. Gross. Very gross on all these ones. They're not the cards I want to be ethereal. Coral Strike. This is a Twin Slam. Okay, um... Revenge Protocol here, probably. I could probably get a lot of advantage here if I I'm really mid-max it. Fair Cross for next turn. All will work for 18. That kill him. I'm just trying to get, honestly, some of the bad cards out of the deck. Oh, I can't kill him. That's kind of what my goal was. Uh, put the Piercing Hide up there. We're up to 9 strength and 3 decks. We've not really been using the Kunai as much as possible. We really need the, um, the floating orbs for that. Another Chrono Boost. I mean, we have 9 energy. We might as well play it. Um, I need to hit you once. Which sucks. I guess it still hit them a bunch of times. Uh, Vent Steam here. Blind Crush for 66, or do we play this for 5 times 14? That's more than 44 damage. More than 66, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and get this out of here? I mean, this doesn't exhaust. Oh, no, it does exhaust. Power to our hand. I think we go ahead and use it. Spike protocol is fine. We'll go ahead and play that. It's still really good, so. Alright, he doppelgangered. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright, how many four? Nine. We're up to nine strength. Uh, I think I'll put this in our stasis at the end of the turn if we don't fill it up. So let's try not to do that. Prismatic. No, we want to. Priming shot here, I guess. Do orb slam. Crystal ray is just good. Here's my hide. Prismatic ray. Oh, he's dead. Then we'll put this in the stasis. There we go. And that'll, every time that it takes a game, we gain one strength. 
So that's the idea. With future plans, we, we will just keep recycling that. Unless for some reason we can't. It's ethereal, so. We're on the final fight. This is definitely the worst one for us. But I think we're past the point having to really worry about it that much. Um, yeah, let's put it right up there. Bubble burst should be great. Except for the fact that it fills our hand with three more cards. That we really don't want to play. I mean, purge up here is good. Probably going to be fine here. Destroys her, um, flame drummer. As she works so hard to get any damage. I should do that at least. Yeah, we'll let her get extra uh, mantra this turn. Because I think we can kill her. Yeah, she's at six. 17, 18 uh, strength here. Yeah. Pretty good. Confirm, put card in stasis. Proceed. Now, this is the one I'm worried about. Because <laughs> whenever we play a card, he heals two. And he also gains mantra. Or mantra. And that's what really, I think, will be the death of us. Is his mantra game. Because we really have to, like... It just, like, slows us down to a crawl. Um, and that's not what we want, really. Not the best opening turn. Fine. He's up to four. We're already in defensive. We should try to... I'll go ahead and do this once. But incinerate into stasis. I'm really going to save the duplicate potion for something that feels like the most useful. Um, orb walk. I think I'll put up into stasis. So piercing hide. Prismatic spray. And we will just leap there. Actually, we should go ahead and get the six damage here. Put this up into stasis. Let him hit himself. Okay. I'm thinking ancient construct is where I'll I'll burn my um, duplication potions. I really don't want to play the floating orbs, honestly. We're gonna fill up our deck with too much nonsense. Great. Iron bomb, I guess. And then we'll play both these crystal wards for Dawson. And so we don't take any damage yet. A polybeam up there is fine. Alright, here's the weird turn. Bewilder, avoid. Yep. Okay. Aunt makes all these ethereal. Oh, that's that really. That might be part of our doom here. Because I can't put, get a bunch of strength off of them. I mean, we did gain a bunch off of the orb walk. So. Right, fine. But I yeah, I need more strength gain. So it has to be charge up. Well, I can play them actually and get them into the discard. Do I want Walker Claw or do I want these two? No, I want Crystal Way, I think. Crystal Way and then charge up. It just discards it, but we don't lose it to, from being ethereal. I think that was the right move. Lost a bunch of good cards, but part of it. Oh, that turned. I uh, know we're gonna do. We're actually gonna go into defensive here. It's actually totally fine. He is doing 36, so he might take some damage, but not as much damage as we could. And we hit him for a fair chance. Confirm nothing. They aged out of here. And he's he's hurt himself pretty good. Okay. I still haven't seen the card I want to see here yet. Oh, we have only one left. Yeah. Or a brick on it. Oh, no, we have, we have plenty. Let's go ahead. Let's hit him there. Alright. 186. Where's our ancient construct? Oh, this fire. Yeah, it must literally be like the last card in the deck. This is field. Icky's fine. We're just going to continue through. Keep getting aged. He's growing very quickly. Exit burn's fine. 
three voids here. Um, 16, we're gonna take a wallop this time. Brace. Polybeam, a ton of damage. Um, yeah, we'll throw that in the stasis. But yeah, I can't help this one. Alright, 32, and there it is, last card in the deck. Duplicate this. It's really the one I wanted. Just in my chair right here. Um, prepared Crush is really good. Alright, we got enough. Um, maybe we just go Stasis Field to set up for another turn. Accelerate here. And put the Stasis Field back. 79 block. Which better if we will keep it for in this turn? Alright, it ended up not mattering. Um, invincibility. Prepared Crush. Oh, we can only play one each turn. Mm. We're getting two artifact in the turn. So that should shield us from him zapping us with nonsense. Polybeam. Polybeam. Honestly, the slime crush was less damage. I think we got this. We, we came over the curve, I think. Like, we can just continuously play the stasis fields in two turns. We will get them back. Like, for turns like this, we can just really wall up. He's doing 60 plus 12, 72. I'll take any of that if I don't have to. But I'm going to take four if I take any. I'm not going to take any of it. I'll give him the one mantra. And he, he gets hex burn too. He's up down to 29. We got this. Yep. Even though Ancient Construct was literally like the last card in the deck, it didn't matter. Ancient Construct, the reason I was saving yep is because the fact that we were gaining had so many gems that gave us plus one strength um i could artifact away the lose the strength plus keeping all the uh thorns is very good as you've seen already an alternate hot um we had 15 thorns at the end and like 10 strength um but we got we got one perfect we're doing a little better overkill uh whale hunter those are all very good uh, since in four here, 1636. Money, I like shiny. Not a bad, uh, again, not a good score. Not a bad one though. Um, and we got the alternative art and we are in Ascension level five with the construct. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you wanna see more. Um, also, if you have any mod suggestions you want to see, whether it be uh, characters, overhauls, uh, more relics, um, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to see them and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.